Hey, what is going on guys? Sabretooth here, and today I'm bringing you guys my brand new ultimate investing guide. I know you guys have been looking forward to this for a while, and I've been looking forward to making it for you guys, even though we didn't even get the amount of likes I was asking for last video, probably because I said it right at the end. I just said, screw all of that. I don't care how many likes we got on that. I'm going to bring you guys the guide, so here we go. For this one though guys, if we could get a thousand likes, that would just really show me that you guys do appreciate these videos a ton and you want me to keep making these. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Let's get right into it. First of all guys, I have three packs to open. Two elite player packs and a team of the week player pack from today. So let's just open these up right now and see if we can get anything. If you guys didn't know, since the Thanksgiving promo is over, now the loading screen is back to the normal Von Miller loading screen. And your Herman Moore, I think this happened a few days ago, but now he's back down to 74 overall, the free one that you get. But he's still an elite, so you can just throw him into the elite player pack with an elite trophy and get yourself something good. Let's see if we can get a pretty good pull right here, 3, 2, and 1. So we get Khalil Mack, not too bad, goes for about 45,000 coins. So I made a little bit of money. I think that was the free one from the Herman Moore that I just put in the set. So you guys can make yourself maybe free 20,000 coins. Not too shabby at all. Second one, Elite Player Pack. I don't know if you can pull any program players. Let's take a look on this second one. And we get Fletcher Cox. I do not think that's a good pull. He is a D-tackle. I have not seen that card in a while. So I'll have to go check that later. Finally, Team of the Week Player Pack. I'm guessing we'll just get a gold. But let's see if we can get lucky with an elite here. We get Ladarius Green. So this is a pretty good card, guys. 88 speed, 84 agility with good acceleration, catching, and awareness for an 84 tight end. This is a really good card if you're looking for a budget tight end as well. But that's kind of beside the point. But it's also kind of on track, guys. Pretty much all my investing methods revolve around weekly promos, guys. So, obviously, right now, the new Team of the Week just dropped. We have the new Vontez Perfect as the Team of the Week hero. And there's the cards that go into the set. We have the Joe Flacco, Glover Quinn, Ladarius Green, and Brandon LaFell. However, none of these I really see too much in potential for investment. None of these I think will go up really a lot in price because the Vontez Perfect isn't too valuable of a card. It's a decent card, don't get me wrong, but... It's nothing too special. However, the hero, guys, David Johnson, this is a little off track, but I thought you guys would want to know. 93 overall halfback, amazing stats. If you guys have the coins or just the luck to pull him, go ahead and pick him up because he is an amazing card. So let's talk about the investing techniques, guys. Let's jump right into my bench and show you guys exactly what I've been buying. First of all, the biggest investment has to be Herman Moore guys let's go check his price right now I kind of want to pick up another one I have one on my team right now but obviously since the Thanksgiving promo is over Herman Moore's price is gonna go up a ton he's the highest overall wide receiver and might even be the highest overall player I believe he is on the entire auction market and he's only going for about 700,000 coins I can see him going up to a million later on Take a look at this. Can we get any pretty cheap ones? Here's one for 643,000. I will pick that up. He has amazing stats and great boost. This card will become pretty rare. rare. Why did I say rare? Later on in the game. So I'm just going to hold on to this for a while. Along with that Antonio Brown that I bought a few weeks ago. I'm just going to hold on to those guys for a while. Until their value really does go up drastically in price. Second of all guys. You can see all of these. 88 more keys pounces that I have on my bench so many of them. I'm gonna keep buying them I buy them all for about 30 to 33,000 coins We can go check his price right now, and I'll explain to you guys exactly why I'm buying all of these The filter that I like to use is I'll go 88 and up and I'll take out QB punt returner Linebacker and safety and just put this under 33,000 coins. You'll mainly see more keys pounces Sometimes you'll get lucky with someone else but there's one right there for 30k. And if you just do this, I'm probably planning on getting maybe around 50 to 60 of him for 30,000 coins, which in total is a lot of coins, guys. That's about 1.5 million coins. 
but take a look at this the next cheapest 88 overall or higher safety so we'll look them up put in every single team but pouncies which is the Steelers and look how much they're going for guys the next cheapest one there's an 87 Travis Frederick from the Cowboys who goes for about 45,000 coins the next cheapest center I believe is a team hero so there's none for under okay that's because for some reason the bid got messed up the next cheapest is going to be a team hero Nick Mangold or one of these guys and they all cost nearly a hundred thousand coins by no means do I think this pouncy is going to reach that level and hit maybe 90k 80k something like that but I can definitely see his price going up to at least 50 or 60 thousand coins and guys that will double your money really really well guys that's 30,000 or 20,000 on every single one you buy you're gonna make a lot of profit for that very similar to the Jordan Berry I invested in early in the year I made I'd say one to two million just off of that one card and I can see the same thing happening here second of all guys moving on this is gonna be a pretty long episode but I have so much stuff to talk about and I know you guys love these episodes so remember make sure to hit that like button Doug for you guys as I told you in my free elite my player up sort of review video I knew this Doug free was gonna get a very good overall card I thought it was gonna be 90 overall they were 10 rushing yards away from him being a 90 but 87 is not too shabby at all and take a look at his price guys the next cheapest 87 O tackle I think is let's take a look right now actually I'm not completely positive I think it's yeah it's Joe Thomas actually what am I talking about Joe Thomas he goes for about 35,000 coins and I snipe this Doug free for 19 20,000 coins I'm gonna keep stocking up on these as well I can see his price rising to 30 or 35 K so nearly doubling your money on that maybe making 10 to 15 K every single one and obviously guys these are not too hard to snipe at all that's the whole point of investing you don't even need to be good at sniping to pick these up and make money let's keep going Colin Kaepernick 84 football outsiders this card is dirt cheap guys it's so common it's pulled all the time and it's a really really good card if you're on a budget for a quarterback 84 overall Kaepernick you can pick him up I was picking him up for around 3,000 coins 2,000 coins he doesn't even sell for 4k right now let's check 2800 and see if there's any up looks like he gets sniped for 2800 so I'd say 3,000 coins is about what you want to buy him at and take a look at his stats and I'll tell you why I think this card is gonna go up in price obviously guys these are all sort of my own ideas none of these are 100% guaranteed to work they're just what I'm doing and I've made a ton of coins in the past by investing so I would follow these methods if I were you guys but don't feel pressured into doing them 85 speed 88 agility 85 Excel with good throw power awareness this is a really good card I have 33 right now I'll probably get around 60 of them I'd say it just got bought actually but I can see this card going up to at least six or seven thousand coins as it gets rarer and that'll be another easy way for you guys who don't have too many coins another one got bought I didn't even know that they show bought if you're sitting on them apparently they do but if you guys don't have too many coins and you're just looking for a quick way over time to make some cash go pick up a couple of these Colin Kaepernick's and just hold on to them let's keep going guys as you know player ups as I was talking about that Doug free there's also the Justin Tucker and the Mike Crabtree guys and those are now auctionable cards I was talking to you guys about sniping player ups and these are a very good way to make money but now guys they have these new player ups there's tons of them on the auction block at this point they're really easy to snipe for under 4,000 coins and their price I can see them going up to at least 10 to 12,000 later on the in the week these cards might even go up in the next few days once the new round of player ups drop again people are trying to do the player re upsets they're gonna need these cards and you guys are gonna make some quick cash if you just go buy I'm planning on buying I have nine of these right now not too many I'm planning on buying at least 50 of each guys and I can see myself making I don't know anywhere from 500,000 to a million coins just off of these players I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I'm talking about right now so if we take out all the teams every single one except the teams that Justin Tucker and 
Crabtree are on, so the Raiders and the Ravens. And look under 10k, guys. All these pretty much get bought. Blake Bortles, Chris Hogan, Willie Sneed. All these get bought pretty quickly. Even under 15,000 coins, guys. These are going to sell later on. Take a look at all these. These are the 84s. 74, sorry. These aren't even the good ones. There's a Dak Prescott for 10k. That actually might be a decent snipe. I'm not positive. I'll just buy it. Why not? Anyway, guys, as you can see, these are all very valuable cards. And if you just go and invest in these player up players right now for 3,000 coins, that's mainly what I've been buying at them at 3,000 to 2,500 coins. These are going to be a really nice investment for you guys. There's one right there. Crabtree came in really late on the round. But definitely, if you guys are looking to make some really easy coins in as little as two days, you guys better go pick up some of these player ups. I'm trying to think if there's any last ones to invest in, guys. I've been sitting on these Malik Collins for such a long time now. I bought, I'd say around 60 to 70 of them. What was that? Three or four weeks ago, all for about 3,000 coins, and now they're worth 9,000 coins, guys. So, Dan Bailey, I have a few of them held on to. They might start getting rarer after Thanksgiving, so I wouldn't sell them just yet, but I can't see their price going up too much. Otherwise, guys, that's about it. Player ups and football outsiders is really where the investing is at right now. If team of the week, if they had some better players, I would definitely go say pick up some of them to invest. But honestly, I can't see any of them going for too many coins. Guys, that is going to be the video. Let's end it off with two huddle packs. I do not recommend you guys to open these. No matter what I get here, guys, the odds of making your money back on these huddle packs are not good at all. But I'm just doing it for the video, and I hope you guys do enjoy me opening these packs. Probably not going to get anything, but here we go. So we get a Ladarius Green. Speak of team of the weeks there's one right there we pulled him earlier on in that no way two ladarius greens in one pack and we pulled him from the team of the week player pack guys ea they have to be messing with me will johnson dimitri goodson we get a brandon albert and doug martin all right there we go there's an elite i did not think we were gonna get an elite that pack i thought we already got our four golds but Apparently, they wanted to be nice. Give us a Doug Martin. I will take that, guys. We might have broken even on that pack. Lost a few coins, but that was not too bad at all. Let's get into this last pack, guys. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to go hit that like button. A thousand likes, guys, will really show me that you love these types of videos. And obviously, I love making these videos. I just like sharing my knowledge with you guys, and you guys have been really supportive lately. So, thank you so much. For everything almost 13,000 subscribers it's unbelievable thank you guys so much for everything that you've done for me let's get into this last pack enough talking will johnson again tony gerard eddie all right robert ayers trey mason not looking too good here and we end with a denard robinson nikovich and max williams pretty bad pack i have to say to end it off but we got a doug martin we got some decent elite players and I showed you guys all those investment opportunities. I'd say this was a pretty successful episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Go invest in these players. Triple your coins, hopefully, really, really easily. And I will see you guys in the next video. Break some ankles. Peace.